व्हाट इज कॉमन मोड रिजेक्शन रेशियो और सी एम आर आर डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इट कॉमन मोड रिजेक्शन रेशियो इज द रेशियो बिटवीन द वोल्टेज गेन टू द डिफरेंस सिग्नल एंड द वोल्टेज गेन फॉर द कॉमन मोड सिग्नल यू हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्नल इन डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर और ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर वन इज योर डिफरेंस सिग्नल एंड अनदर वन इज योर कॉमन मोड सिग्नल सो वोल्टेज गेन फॉर द डिफरेंशियल सिग्नल और द डिफरेंस सिग्नल दैट इज ए डी टू द वोल्टेज गेन फॉर द कॉमन मोड सिग्नल दैट इज ए सी दिस इज कॉल्ड कॉमन मोड रिजेक्शन रेशियो और सी एम आर आर ना हो लेटस डिस्कस व्हाट इज वोल्टेज गेन फॉर द डिफरेंस सिग्नल एंड व्हाट इज वोल्टेज गेन फॉर द कॉमन मोड सिग्नल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर यू हैव टू इनपुट्स वी वन इज द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग इनपुट दिस इज द पॉजिटिव एंड दिस इज द नेगेटिव इनपुट और द इन्वर्टिंग इनपुट सो यू हैव टू इनपुट्स वी वन एंड वी टू एंड वन आउटपुट दैट इज वी ओ सो वी वन इज द सिग्नल वोल्टेज विद रेस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड at non inverting terminal and v2 is the signal voltage with respect to ground at the inverting terminal and vo is the output voltage with respect to ground i have told you in operational amplifier you have two types of signal one is your difference signal another one is your common mode signal difference signal is v1 minus v2 this is the difference signal voltage and v1 plus v2 divided by 2 that is equal to suppose vc this is the common mode signal voltage common mode signal voltage is nothing but the average signal voltage the differential signal voltage or the difference signal voltage and common mode signal voltage is amplified to produce the output voltage so output voltage v output or vo can be written as a1 v1 plus a2 v2 then what is a1 a1 is the voltage gain when the inverting terminal terminal is grounded if the inverting terminal is grounded then uh, you have connected the non inverting terminal and non inverting is your, is your v1 voltage so a1 multiplied by v1 a1 will be equal to output by input here what will be the output output will be equal to the total sum of the output due to inverting and non inverting and voltage gain due to inverting is a1 when it is multiplied by uh, v1 then this will give you the output voltage due to the uh, non inverting terminal similarly this will give you the output voltage due to the inverting terminal and the total sum will be the output voltage so you may write v output is equal to a1 v1 plus a2 v2 now let us add equation 1 and equation 2 in equation 1 you divide 2 on both the sides so this will be equal to v1 by 2 minus v2 by 2 that will be equal to vd divided by 2 and from equation 2 this will be equal to v1 by 2 plus v2 by 2 that will be equal to vc so adding equation 1 and 2 we will get v1 divided by 2 minus v2 divided by 2 that will be equal to vd divided by 2 and v1 by 2 plus v2 by 2 is equal to vc when you add these two equation then v2 by 2 and v2 by Two. This will cancel. So you have v1 by 2 divided by v1 by 2. That will be equal to v1. That will be equal to vc plus vd by 2. Suppose this is equation number four. Now subtracting equation two from one, uh, you have v1 divided by 2 minus v2 divided by 2 is equal to vd by 2. and if you subtract then equation this equation 
टू विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस वी वन बाई टू माइनस वी टू बाई टू दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी सी सो वी वन बाई टू एंड वी वन बाई टू दिस विल कैंसल सो यू हैव माइनस वी टू बाई टू माइनस वी टू बाई टू सो माइनस वी टू दैट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस वी सी प्लस वी डी बाई टू सो वी टू विल बी इक्वल टू वी सी माइनस वी डी डिवाइड बाई टू सपोज दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव नाउ putting the value of v1 and v2 in equation 3 equation 3 is the equation for the output voltage so in in equation 3 you have a1 v1 v, vo equal to a1 v1 plus a2 v2 so v output will be equal to a1 and v1 will be equal to from equation 4 uh, v1 will be equal to uh, how much vc plus vd divided by 2 plus a2 v2 and what is uh, v2 from equation 5 vc minus vd divided by 2 so here the, from this term vd by 2 and from this term vd by 2 if you take common then in the bracket you have a1 minus a2 similarly from from this term and this term if you take vc common it will be equal to a1 plus a2 so you have v output is equal to for uh, Uh, vd you write here vd and for a1 minus a2 divided by 2 you write ad so ad is equal to half a1 minus a2 and for vc you write here vc and for a1 plus a2 you write here here ac okay so ac will be equal to a1 plus a2 so what will be ad ad is the voltage gain for the different signal so what will be the voltage gain for the different signal that is equal to half of a1 minus a2 similarly what will be the voltage gain for the common mode signal or average signal for common mode signal the voltage gain ac will be equal to a1 plus a2 so you have two voltage gain and this you have to find out that is voltage gain for the different signal and voltage gain for the common mode signal because for common mode rejection ratio in you need ad and ac and after finding out ad and ac if you divide the two then you can find out the common mode rejection ratio for ideal operational amplifier i have discussed ad equal to infinite and ac equal to zero because for ideal operational amplifier there is no common mode signal so common mode signal is equal to zero so cm cmrr will be equal to infinite so for practical operational amplifier or differential amplifier we have constructed the differential amplifier in such a way that the different signal should be large because we generally uh, take the gain voltage gain for the different signal that is why the voltage gain for the different signal should be large and the common mode signal that is the voltage gain for the common mode signal should be very small so we have constructed the uh, differential amplifier or operational amplifier like this so when ad will be large and ac will be small the cmrr or common mode rejection ratio lies between uh, a larger value uh, larger than unity to infinite this will if this will be very large then cmrr will be large if this will be small then cmrr will be small so cmrr lies between a value which is larger than unity it cannot be less than unity it will be larger than unity so you will have a value larger than unity to infinite so infi that is infinitely large and uh, cmrr should be very large in practice and for practical purposes we generally uh, uh, represent cmrr in terms of decibel in terms of decibel cmrr will be equal to 20 log ad divided by ac um, db so you have to remember this formula for problems and you will also get questions short questions from cmrr like why the voltage gain for the different signal that is ad is large in cmrr why the uh, voltage gain for the common mode signal that is ac 
is small in CMRR like this. So if you have any doubt, write to me. Thank you.